Hey, hey, it's a podcast. Is that a ukulele? I think it was. Yeah, the file is named ukulele. <laughs> that was not a ukulele. Ooh. That was definitely not a ukulele. <laughs> However, <laughs> that was probably one of the most appropriately uh, named users to submit a theme song ever. What was it? Heavy Steel. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. That sounds like a, like a Japanese dragon fighting game. Heavy Steel. <laughs> Heavy Steel. Didn't they announce a new Steel Battalion the other day that's coming out? It's going to be like Connect Enabled? Probably. I don't know. They're announcing so much stuff at Gamescom right now, it's it's out of control. Yeah, they're, they, I guess they, I, I'm pretty sure they announced a new Steel Battalion game for the for the 360 that's going to be use a combination of Connect and your controller. Oh, wow. And for people who don't remember, Steel Battalion was an old original Xbox game that I believe cost either two or three hundred dollars. The giant, the giant oh my console gosh. It came with a giant. I, I'm showing Kathleen here with my hands. Yeah. It came with a controller about this so big. Oh my! God. And it would like you sat there and you had like all the controls. It was supposed to be like a mech simulator. Oh! And if you died in the game, you died you, in real life. You were done. You erased your save file. Oh and my! And you had gosh. to start over. Like there was an eject button you could Whoa. use. So if you were losing a mission, you had to eject. If you didn't eject. And your mech exploded, you died, and your save game got erased. That's crazy. What, now, what's the new thing going to be? How are they going to resurrect this? It actually is a mech. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. it, it costs $3,000. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a Toyota that shows up in your car. It's, a, it's just a combination of a normal Xbox controller oh, okay. and Connect. They said you're going to like start your engine using Connect, and wow. I, don't, I don't know the specifics. Wow. Hey, we should introduce all the people on the podcast, Mr. Gus. Oh, yeah, I guess we have uh, some, some unusual people here. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have, and, also, and also people who don't show up very often. That's true. Yeah. We have uh, Kathleen. Booyah. Hi, Kathleen. Hey. Hi, Jack. You? I am Jack. Jack. Here's Jack. Michael. 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 AKA Rage yeah. Quit. Were you on the podcast before? Yes. He was yes. on oh, once. When? I think he said three words. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's a quiet dude. He's four or five. Unless he's Just cursing, like he's pretty quiet. That's true. Yeah. You were probably super I nervous try last time. I conserve my energy for when it's needed. Uh, <laughs> so it's needed right now. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bring it up. Right. Bring it up a notch there. Expend that energy, sir. Um... Also at Gamescom, I know I saw there was a lollipop chainsaw. Lollipop What's chainsaw. That? Looks fucking what is awesome. that? It's, it's a, a, a game about a cheerleader who wheels a chainsaw to kill zombies. Oh There's my just a trailer gosh. for it, and it looks it's it looks fantastic. It reminds me of those other Japanese games, uh, the Onichibara series, which oh, are yeah. not very popular, I don't think, in the U.S. But it's all like girls in bikinis fighting zombies. Oh yeah, there yeah. you go. I think they even what? made. Mo- I think that that series is even uh, made has movies. It. TV that, movie? That, that, uh, that, that are in Japan. I think you can stream hmm. one or two of them on Netflix. That. It's, a, it's a popular cosplay costume. What's the lollipop it's part? It's very popular. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the lollipop? What's that? Just the, I don't know. Yeah, it opens okay. up with her like eating a lollipop. Is oh, it, really? Is it really? Yeah. Oh, the funny. chainsaw has like a heart on it and stuff yeah. like that. It, it looks pretty it's, funny. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty I think insane. it's made by the same people that make uh, that made uh, Shadows of the Dam. That's uh, Suda Fifty One. That game and... was like fucking filthy. Yeah, it was. A, it was a great game, but it was like it was like ninety percent dick jokes yeah. the whole game. It was just wow. really Shadow, Shadows of the Dam. Your weapon is called the boner. Yeah, and then oh, you get, you and you get, get the like, hot boner, the big boner, the big boner, <laughs> the blue boner, ultra yeah. boner. I don't know. The big the, boner is my favorite. The little boner. <laughs> Um, I also saw there was uh, an Old Republic video, I guess, of people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was uh, like a, a raid. Part in a raid and wiping very <laughs> early in it. <laughs> wow. It's like, here's eight people who know what they're doing and immediately die on the second phase. Yeah, I didn't like, watch it, but I heard Jack listening to it, and the guy's like, well, uh, fuck, they're dead. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Good job. Good job. And everyone's like, eh, I'm so. sure it was like a time thing where they only had like, you know, 10 minutes to show, so they intentionally let themselves die. I would hope. Yeah, intentionally. I'm sure there was it, people. It seemed like the healer quit healing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure there was people watching who's never played before screaming at them. Like, <laughs> Instructions of what to do. Oh man! Use the force. <laughs> Use the force. Most of the time. Use the force. Uh, Maybe with um, you. And there was also that Battlefield video, the Battlefield Three. Oh, the Did jet you see one. That? Yeah, yeah. it God. showed off the sixty-four player um, multiplayer Jesus aspect. Christ. So of Battlefield Three. Uh, yeah. So. I, I think I can talk about this. So I was invited to like a Battlefield Alpha. Um, I got an invite for it on a Friday. And Son then, of a bitch. So I know. Wow. And so I got this Battlefield 3 Alpha invite on a Friday. I set up my computer at work to actually have Windows on it because it was a PC only thing. And um, so I'm like, okay, I'll come back on Monday and set it up and, and actually play it. The invite expired on Monday. Oh, so like, ah. no, so after after Monday, like you couldn't play anymore. Well, that oh. explains why I haven't heard you talking about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so oh, anyway, I didn't get any hands. Cry on. that night. 
Huh? How much did you cry? A whole lot. But I'm getting to, I'm going to your pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Battlefield 3. Damn it to hell. But uh, I'm, I'm playing Battlefield 3 at PAX. I've got like a whole thing set up Ooh, for that's going to so be fun. I'm super, jam- wow. super jazzed for that. That's cool. Jazzed. There's also, um, are they <laughs> showing uh, Dota 2 at PAX? I think so. I know they're having that tournament at Gamescom today. I wouldn't be shocked. You, typically the stuff at Gamescom ends up at PAX. Because mm-hmm. they're pretty, they're always really close to each other, right? Yeah. You gotta fucking haul ass from Germany to get over here. Get to get to Seattle by next week. Yeah, put all the stuff on the planes. Did you see they they brought in a jet for Battlefield Three at Gamescom? Oh I did not see gosh. that. They actually like a real life jet. They they towed one into the convention hall to show up because they have jet gameplay in Battlefield Three now. Yeah. And so that was to show it off. It's a real working That's jet. That's awesome. It's pretty rad. Oh, my God. I'm sure they had to clear that with the fire marshal. Like, yeah. normally, like, <laughs> like, when you go to an event like that, if they even bring a vehicle in, like a car, like yeah. the gas tank has to have, like, 10% or less fuel, you know, yeah. 10% or less capacity. What am I trying to say? It has to be filled <laughs> 10% yeah. or less. There we go. Yeah. Was there a game, like, in the cockpit? Like, did a pilot fly and I, get out with the game? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty awesome. No, yeah, pretty so if it was, like, one of those Harriers and they just keep fucking, like, <laughs> yeah. very slowly hovered over. <laughs> Hover fucking everyone's just getting blown out of the way. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Do you remember uh, at a... Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic! <laughs> I feel like I'm there. Uh, do you remember, do you there's an engineer with a yeah. wrench up on it, <laughs> <laughs> repairing it as it flew. If you get it, you get a turbine goes to your house and blows you away every time. You do you remember PAX like three or four years ago when that truck was yes. ca- like we couldn't build our booth because we had to wait for a truck to park behind us? I think uh. it was Intel. Was it like a? It was. It may have been someone else. Yeah. But they 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 wanted to get like an 18 wheeler, oh, like those big trucks, into the exhibit hall. But it didn't. Like our booth was in the way, so we couldn't build because like we were in the path it needed to get to its booth, and it wouldn't fit through the bay door. Oh <laughs> so there was like it barely didn't clear. So they ended up having to like let air out of all the tires <gasps> so that it, wow. it it rode lower, and wow. then uh, they got it into the hall like that. So we, we were just standing there waiting, watching yeah, them like, trying well, to get... We have our boxes door. here. Okay. Genius. Yeah, that was like the four years ago? That was the first one I went to. So, God, that was... Yeah, that must have been four years ago. I saw Robert Koo the other day tweeted that this will be the 10th PAX ever. Oh, wow. And yeah, that's right. You were You're one of the few... 10 for 10, baby. 10 for 10 really? alumni. I will be. All 10 years? Mm-hmm. Well, tattoos, 10 events. They oh, did 10 Boston events. Too. Oh, okay. That's what he said. <laughs> what, are, what are you, some kind of fucking marketer? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so you want to talk about those sunglasses you have around your neck, Michael? Oh, I think that's good. My amazing $6 P. Terry sunglasses. What and happened, they're red. What, what happened to your other sunglasses? <clears throat> well, as you know, we went tubing on Sunday. Yes, awesome we did. Time. We went yeah. tubing on Sunday. And I brought my amazing, wonderful pair of Oakleys that I've wanted my entire life. And I finally bought. <laughs> How much were those? Oakley? Those They were like $160. And you, you wore them to the river? I wore them to the river. Uh-huh. And uh, everything was going good and great until uh, Kara started fucking around. And she lost her uh, T-shirt. Focus. Hey, Stop looking around. Be careful. But, but yet, oh. you know, she did yeah. have something on under yeah. the T-shirt. Yes. Let's just say that. Yes. Please. She had an extra T-shirt. And yeah. uh, it she had fell a in the water. Down. Yeah. And she's like... Uh, Oh no! I lost my T-shirt. So she starts swimming backwards. Her ten dollars T-shirt. Get it. Yeah, I found. Well, you didn't know that at the time. Yeah. So, uh, so I left my tube with uh, with Joel, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll go back and look for it." And then I started swimming back, and uh, it was like, I don't know. I swam back like maybe a hundred feet or so, or something like that. And uh, there's like a branch. I'm like, Jesus, because I'm incredibly out of shape. So I grab a branch <laughs> and like I uh, I pull myself on it, and then I kind of like wipe the uh, water out of my face, and I'm like, God damn it! My sunglasses are not on my head anymore. <laughs> And I'm like, motherfucker. And I start like cursing and screaming. And some guy's like riding by. He's like, I know this is a public place, but I'm here with my kid. And he's got like a five year old kid there. And I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. Dude, but before we got into the water, there was like. You these- rage quit those sunglasses so hard. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They quit me. Before Fuck those sunglasses. Before we, like, we were waiting for everyone to kind of get ready and stuff. And these two guys carrying oh, this giant God. tube with a cooler had a, had a stereo in it stereo just blaring. It was like blaring Skinner or something dun, dun, like that. Dun, 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 yeah. I mean, it's like. It, like the uh, yeah, it was pretty much like the definition of America. It was just these guys like yeah, don't drop don't the beer, don't drop the beer, whatever you do, don't drop the beer. Was it a cooler like a Bud Light? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, was... oh yeah. These guys were hilarious. No Corona. Well, no, you you no. meet all kinds on the river. On the river, there's always the guys who who sit at the bottom of the rapids and will just wait for oh, those yeah. coolers to dump over and they just sit there and fish the beers they out of the water. They're I wait, I wait for, top, I wait for tops sunglasses. to dump over personally <laughs> when I sit at the bottom of the rapids. Yeah, right. no, I just walked in on a I just walked in on a story that was being told, and sure enough, I walk in on the story of the girl who has an extra shirt. That's yeah, it's like the lamest story ever. Less shirts. Yeah. Michael. So then, so then you can tell like, the story yeah. any way you want. Right. These people <laughs> listening weren't actually there. That's true. So. uh... 
So then she's like, she's like, oh, my shirt. I love that shirt. It was $10. I'm like, fucking $10? Are you shitting me? I'm like, what the fuck? The God best the best part, though, of that day was we come up uh, with this. There's like a pod of people that have kind of stopped right before the the rapids. I guess you'd call them rapids. And so they're, hey, we're going to shotgun a beer. You guys want to <laughs> shotgun a beer? And so I'm like, I don't shotgun beers anymore. And there's Kara. She freaking takes her tooth and bites the bottom of the can. No way. Yes, shotguns. Yes. 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 No way. Yes. See, that's yes. how to tell the story right there. Yes. yes. And I'm like, do you believe that happened? Oh, did, that, did, did she have like a special yeah. like metal tooth? Yeah, like yeah. specifically, like I, oh, I like what this old you, chomper. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was impressive. It was impressive. But we, you know, it didn't yeah. quite work too well though. Yeah, she, got, well, like, she did she, twice. She got like a hole in it. I don't think I've. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, shotgunning beers. That's uh, yeah. We would like to welcome Kara's parents to the podcast <laughs> audience. No, Kara is a professional college student. Oh, She's yes, she absolutely is. professional college student. We saw it all day, didn't I we? I think the guy said, hey, do you want to shot? And then she was already yeah. game for it. <laughs> 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 and then finished right. the sentence. She was already biting the candy. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. some kind of beer vampire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel for the guy on the river, though, who was subjected to Michael because I went out to dinner with Michael. We went to the bar across the street to Woodrow's. Mm-hmm. And all I have to say is if Jeff and Michael ever go eat somewhere together, they will have to sh- – like, that, that place will be condemned. He's just like <laughs> Jeff in that he talks at the top of his lungs and he swears the entire time. <laughs> barely. Barely. You barely swear? Or you myself. barely talk at the top of your lungs? Yeah. yeah. But that's, I didn't swear. That's oh. Jersey barely versus right. Texas right. barely mm-hmm. swearing in public. How many times in Jersey have you been corrected for swearing like in public? Never. So yeah. You're like one for one in Texas now. Yeah. How are you adjusting so far? It's good. Pretty good so far. Well, I, well, I uh, fucking lost the sunglasses on Sunday. <laughs> it's part of my vocabulary. And, uh, that's okay. That's a it, comma. You, yeah. you can do whatever you want here. Yeah. This is the internet. <laughs> I noticed. So, uh, and then Saturday, Saturday, I go because uh, I was playing some piece of shit, and I'm, uh, I'm like, hey, I'll plug in my uh, PVR and record this. And I plugged in the wrong fucking AC, and it's just like, boop, on, off, fucking broke it. And I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> What'd you do? You, you I, broke your, uh, your, your, what is it like PVR, a capture card? My capture in, in yeah, your computer it's like a capture device. It's an external uh, capture device. I don't get it. So you plugged it in wrong. We're not like in England or anything. No. Like that. You don't need an adapter. Because <laughs> I, uh, I plugged in, I hooked it all up and everything. The last thing I did was plug in the AC adapter, and I just grabbed one out of my bag, and the, the end match. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just plug it right in, do, 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 do. And then uh, I see it turned off, and, like, immediately I could smell it. I'm like, god damn it, it's fucked. And I plugged in one of the uh, AC adapters for one of my external uh, hard drives, and they're 12 volts, and this yeah. thing's 5 volts. And it was like, no. Right. Well, theoretically, you shouldn't be able to do that. No, well, you can. The size, <laughs> they're all the same. The size of the barrel, it determines the voltage. Yeah, that, that not always, though. Uh-huh. It popped right in. Well, it, it, was it like, also oh, it was $200. It also, may, it also may have had more amps. I think like the amperage isn't dictated by know, the size of the plug. I don't know plug. what the amps on the uh, the PPR were. The, the hard drives were 1.5 and 2. Because then, cause then I broke that, and then I went to go hook up the fucking hard drives, and I'm looking at them like, well, fuck this. Like, everything's on my hard drive. And uh, the, the uh, AC adapters are marked. Fucking hard drives aren't labeled. So now I'm like, well, shit, which one's for which? So I had to, like, Google it for, like, 20 minutes to find out which fucking... <laughs> you know, you can look on the back of your hard drive, was. and it should say what kind no. of power it's expecting. No, oh. get the fuck out of here. I'm telling you. I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck? He didn't right. say it. Keep in mind, Michael is blind as a fucking No, I, got, yeah. I have good... <laughs> no, right. I have good uh, He's got $6 dollar sunglasses. Yeah, that's true. He's probably Dude, covered. He, if you just see him. He puts his nose right on the monitor. Yes, actually but I can read super doing. small. I just can't see far away. I gave, I gave him my glasses, and I said, look, try try these. Look at the monitor, and now put my glasses on, and mine are for computer, to, you know, so you can be like two feet away. And he's like, oh, yeah, I can see now. <laughs> Like, Listen, go to you know, Lance Crafters. You know how ugly some... people are in New Jersey? I don't fucking need to see clearly. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> must be like, awkward at bars, like though, when you meet a girl shit. and you like, get right up next to her face. Yeah, that's kind Holy of, yeah. Holy shit. Like, yeah. Usually I do that. Yeah. <laughs> There's Nose space issues. Space issues. I have issues to get there. my foot removed, and then I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's how you get away. Her foot or your foot? No, mine. Okay. I forgot I have the surgery tomorrow. One more thing with Michael joining the site is if I read the goddamn word brony one more time oh, I don't on know. our website, oh. I'm going to choke somebody. Someone left me a fucking personal comment that, or sent me an email that was like, hey, I hear you're a brony now too. Welcome. You should watch this and watch out. I was like, fuck you. I'm going to figure out who you are and ban your ass. <laughs> so great. What's, I don't even know what that is. What is a brony? No, no. No, don't okay. ask. All right. Are you sure? It's you. We only have 40 minutes. Fuck all you guys. <laughs> it's, it's guys who like My Little Pony. It's oh, everyone. That's right. Actually, that's including right. Women. Oh. That, that aren't in the age group of what, yeah. 8 to 12. Right. I think is the that's problem. more like 2 to 3. Oh, we talked about this. It was uh, basically pedophiles. Though. No right. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's outrageous. <laughs> that was the uh, Griffin Furry thing I think you're referring <laughs> oh, to there. Okay. The ponies are like code for something, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for friendship and magic, Gus. 
So friendship, <laughs> air quote, <laughs> magic, secret friendships. Yeah, secret. Hey, are, don't tell your parents. So, uh, <laughs> is My Little Pony still on the air? Yeah, they, they, they have like a new oh my series. Gosh. Yeah, it's huge. No, the old it's stuff on the web sucks. Does. Okay, let's not yeah. get this confused. This this is, you're right. My Little Pony does this suck. The new you are correct. Anime kind you of just blew stuff. my mind. <laughs> this is this is series four. Okay, yeah. this is yeah. where it's at, and season two starts in October. Very exciting. This is what I'm hearing. Series four. All the guys are more excited than the girls. It's weird. Tell them. I'm scared. My son came up to me and said, "Mom, why is everyone shaking pony? their heads? This is outrageous." It's disapproval. <laughs> this is the, okay, I'm going to be honest. That only makes this isn't a podcast. It's an though. intervention. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely it's a, it's intervention. A intervention. I, 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 intervention. I, I, I we, quit whenever I want. We all love you. No, no, Michael, most of us love you. We all care about you. <laughs> We want you to get help. That's right. I know. I'm waiting for you. Bronies are a serious problem affecting three million Americans. Soon to be more. Oh my god! We should, I should we also note that uh, the uh, the comic that Luke draw the other day, drew the other day, um, I have a I have a like a personal picture that somebody drew like a fan just drew like a, a unique pony and made like their own little because they all have cutie marks and see that determines their jobs. Oh god! Show. I mean, I'm already oh, learning too much. Do you love up with ponies so, too? No, like no, you you're so, learning too much about ponies so, or about uh, Michael? Both, both, everything. Both. Everything. Trust. You got to get excited about it. So anyway, she drew like her own unique <laughs> thing, which was a, a 360 controller with a lightning bolt through it, and uh, Luke, Luke put that on the T-shirt. So there you oh, go. That's that a fan easy. art put in the yeah, comic. That's cool. Luke does good research. He really does. That's Luke pretty... also watches ponies. FYI, does yeah, he really? And he so does. does Caleb. It's Caleb does too. Yeah. Oh my god. It's spreading. It is. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but not to anyone I care about. So <laughs> that's the good thing. The other, in the end, um, I think it was. I don't know if it was the last comic or the one before that with uh, with Monty. He had a little pony on his desktop. FYI. Luke Monty did. In. Does Monty yeah. know about that? I don't. Oh, I, don't sure I have no does. idea. But it, yeah, was in, it was Monty in every panel. What was the last fad before this? This is not a fad. This is a no, way this of life. Is, this is absolutely <laughs> this is not a fad. what's here to stay. Yeah. Oh. You think years from now when you're an old man, you look back on look the back ponies, on you like, bust out the old DVDs? Uh, is, is Nine Cat dead yet? Is that is that fad gone I don't yet? I don't think so. Yeah, uh, it's still around. Those right. things go fast. By, by, the, by the time I hear about them, I feel like they're gone already. Like, yeah. uh, like I'm not cool enough to know about it. I don't, yeah, I'm not hip enough. I learned about Nine Cat through the Rooster Teeth comic, so I'm always like way behind on that one. What does it take for like a meme to really count in the culture does it have to hit like three sites like does it have to be on 4chan it has to be on reddit which is basically the same thing but two weeks later and then wh- <laughs> and, and, with, else? and with less disturbing images yeah far I less think 4chan for sure what's that I, I feel like all memes originate at 4chan somehow uh, mo- the majority right. yes it's like uh like the, the like it's like this giant cesspool where like internet life starts <laughs> like every now and then something crawls out and gets, little, gets to the rest of the internet have you, have you seen igor cat yet yeah. The cat, the, did you see the there, other there's, Igor? There's another one, there's, yeah. There's another one now. I heard them call Frankenstein Cat, personally. Oh, okay. But Igor Cat right. also seems to make sense. When we did that Kittywood video, I was in this oh my uh, gosh, that was funny. video for a, a local director. I think we talked about on the Rooster Teeth recap. Um, it was about – it was a spoof. It was supposed to be this company called Kittywood, and they're the fictional company who makes all the cat videos for mm-hmm. the internet. And they asked me at the time, what was my favorite cat video so they could show it? And I said – Currently, it's Frankenstein Cat or Igor Cat. That that cat's weird. The, the original one was weirder, I think, than the <laughs> yeah. sequel. Because the original one like sequel. actually takes his his front paws off the ground. Yeah. What is, what is your favorite cat video of all time? <sighs> Probably Pinky the Cat. I Pinky had, the I, Cat has to be one of my favorite videos. Period. Like not just cat video. It, uh, keyboard Cat's pretty great. I like too. Keyboard Cat. And I like the other one that was in that with the surprise cat. Oh, the kitten. The kitten? Yeah, the kitten. Uh, I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah. Pinky the Cat is so well paced, though. It builds so well. It <laughs> it's almost off. like it's scripted. The dude's like very loving cat, you know, town, whatever animal shelter and fucking Buster the County come out. Buster County. Here, you know what? That's, I just I had to look up uh, on Wikipedia oh, My no, Little Pony. No, no, I just want no. to say, no, no. <laughs> but it says this is the first line. It says My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Well, that's what, the name of the show. But that's just so. What that's is the name that? of the show. I know, but that's that just, doesn't make it better. Yeah. No, no, you, know? you have to watch yeah, the first two saying. episodes to understand the title. Yeah. Okay. Oh, then it makes sense. Yes. Then yeah. it all makes anyway, sense. Anyway, the, the, the weird thing about changing the subject to something yeah, way better. Okay. Hey, there's <laughs> a, um, the, the, the weird thing about Pinky the Cat is it seems like it's such, it's so old now, and it's from an era before like you could really share video on the internet. It's obviously like a VHS copy that people used to pass around and share, and that yep. someone like digitized and put on the internet. And I can't. I can only think of. A, like a very small handful of videos like that. I can think of Pinky the Cat, and I think of the South Park Spirit of Christmas yep, thing. Yep, also, yep. another South Park thing, uh, Your Studio and You. Did you ever see that? So Trey, oh, yeah, yeah, Trey yeah. Parker and Matt Stone made this thing for like the Christmas like gift for all the Universal Studio employees. 
And uh, it's a it was a brilliant, brilliant film. They made it like that was like before they did South Park. Do you, do you know well, what, when I first started? This is like probably 16 years ago, and I was working in a recording studio. And one of the uh, voice actors brought that in, brought the VHS mm-hmm. of their stuff, and we watched. And we're like, this is brilliant. This is the funniest shit ever, right? So then, cut to they get all famous, and I wound up going to the hundredth episode party. And so I go up to one of the guys, and I'm introduce myself, and you know I'm looking at him, and I'm saying, you know what, I got to see your stuff back when it was VHS. This, you know, you guys are phenomenal. And he like looked me in the eyes. And he's like, "I'm so fucking drunk right now." <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, what do you say to that?" Then cut to about five years later, I go to this other event, and now I see them, and I'm a little tipsy, and I'm like telling my friends, "I know those guys, I know those guys," and I go walking back up to him. I'm like, "Hey, remember me?" And they're not drunk; they're like totally sober. Like, can you have this girl removed because she's really bugging us? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really? Did they yeah. toss you out? Yeah, no, they didn't toss me out. But they, my friends were like, "I think you better leave them alone." And I was—they were putting up with me, but I was like, "Come on, we go way back," you know. It was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it was fun. Did you ever hear about the the uh, TV show they worked on called Time Warped? They put a pilot out for it, but no. it, never, it never hit. It was a musical television show where they go around to different periods, like different periods in time. And the first one, the pilot was about Moses and his brother. And it's if you can find it, it's yeah. it's damn near impossible to find, but it's, it's amazing. Is it damn near impossible to find on the internet? You just just look it up. Yeah, no, good luck, good luck. Find it on the internet. What's it called? Time warped. Uh, time warped. I think. Okay. There was some uh, big thing on Reddit today about a Nickelodeon movie about a, oh, right. a baby yeah. that eats another baby's soul. What was it? What? <laughs> it was oh like, my god! Like some some movie Cry, that Cry Nickelodeon Lane. made. Yeah, in two thousand or two thousand one, it was supposed to be like one of those like Are You Afraid of the Dark kind of scary movies for teenagers. But I guess they made it super scary. They really hit it on the nose. <laughs> it was like, right? yeah, yeah, like what was it? It was Siamese twins that got separated, and one of them died, and they, the parents buried him in the backyard, and the what? other one went and oh dug him gosh. up, and it turned out like he was an evil spirit. And then you possess the one that was still alive, who then like haunted everyone in this town. That's actually worse than my description. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's what it yeah, was. It yeah, I think you're right. I think and you're right. Uh, yeah. I guess they only aired it. According to Reddit, they only aired it once, and then uh, Nick- Nickelodeon disavowed it. Can't were able to, were people able to find it? Or they something? found it. Yeah, apparently they found it. And now other people are like, "Oh, I saw this movie when I was a kid on TV. What is this?" And like now they're trying to like locate all these lost VHS tapes. All right, Kathleen found Time Warped. How'd you do that, Kat? <laughs> I just typed Time Warped. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a magician? Woohoo! A magic. Magic right there. So we'll have that's to watch the, it. That's the, that's the magic of the iPad 2. <laughs> exactly. You probably can't find this on another device. Only no, yeah, the iPad can, 2, yeah. is it? And no, it's only mine, too. So. Dude, did you see the Apple's new campus? The UFO? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Holy crap. That looks cool. Hey, Bernie, can we buy a new building? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A circular one like that? They're also redesigning one of the Apple stores in Manhattan. I think the... The cube, yeah, the, yeah. No, to, to, they're, they're redoing the cube so it has less glass panes. Like they're making the glass panes bigger so there's less obstructions in it. And I saw this morning that they're going to redo the Apple Store in Santa Monica, so oh. that it's uh, like right now it's kind of small. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been. Yeah, to I've it. been down there. But they're going to take over an abandoned Borders. Oh, and they're nice. going to make the whole roof like this arching glass. Oh top. my gosh, Jesus! That's and they're also crazy. they're building an Apple Store in uh, Grand Central yeah. Station. Yeah. Mm. They're building an Apple Store in the back of our studio too. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> They should. <laughs> yeah. Why did you spend an Apple the last month? Yeah, no shit. For, uh, we've been hiring a lot of people for RVB production, and Gus has been spending lots and lots of money. The, the bank locked my credit card Ooh. because I spent so much money, and I called them, and uh, and they were uh, they were like, oh, yeah, the balance is there. Your balance has been paid off. I'm like, great. Why can't I use my card? Like, oh, you spent too much. What? And I was like, what? <laughs> they are like, you have to wait till the billing cycle resets before you can spend any more money. Like, they, they even though my card's been paid off, I yeah. can't use it because I spent too much money. Wow. You know, one of the things you got to be careful of, besides spending too much money on your credit card, Gus, is... (laughs) I maxed out the other one, too, now. I I noticed. I noticed. I noticed that. Thank you for letting me know. Thanks for the heads up. You know, when when all these alerts go off on my phone and I'm like, what is happening? Gus is on the spree again. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Gus, you you really do. You set a record all the time. Yeah. Because you pay for our conventions and you pay for our equipment. I've been buying some very expensive software more than anything uh, lately. So have you uh, – like they're, they're redoing the cube in Manhattan, right? You said in the yeah. – and that's a big glass cube that sits, I don't know, somewhere with downtown or midtown. Who I don't knows? Know. I don't, I don't know, know New York. Well, no. So it's a big glass cube. One of the things you got to be careful of when they when you build stuff like that is you can make it architecturally sound. But there's this weird thing that can happen when you build, especially a clear building like that in a weird geometric shape in that you don't – architects don't really compensate for the sun, Oh, right. And did you ever hear about, like, the playground equipment? You know those, they're like, what are they, geodesic yeah. domes? Right. Uh, you know? 
Is yeah. that the right word? I don't think they're geodesic, but they're domes. But they're yeah. like those triangles yeah. and they're like jungle gyms that you climb on. Right. Well, I guess somebody had the bright idea at one point that they would put panels on the mirrored panels. But because it's dome shaped, <laughs> it made a, like a hot spot, like a magnifying glass in the center of these things in there where it would get up to like 180 degrees. So uh, your kid would come out singed? Or they just pass out. <laughs> 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 Dehydration. There was also something similar in Vegas. I got it right here. Guys, that would be funny. I forget which hotel it was. Yeah, it's the Vidara Hotel. Oh my gosh! Right? Yeah, that's it's, it. It's the Vidara Hotel, and it's these two curved hotel buildings that are mirrored glass. And when the sun gets to a certain point in the sky at a certain time of year, it hits the two buildings, and it makes like a laser beam that cuts <laughs> across the day. Like, they call it a death ray. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they, they, they say if you walk <gasps> through it, that it like singes all the hair oh on your body. Gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> and it's down by the pool. Where? Yeah. where oh my oh, god! Where? I would love to see a guy walking through that. Right? When it hit. But Vidara, that's the uh, <laughs> it's on fire. That's the wind, right? Like I think the wind and the Vidara are the two. Yeah, I, I, I think it's out. Yeah, in that area. Okay. Guests at the new Vidara Hotel and Spa in Las Vegas have complained that design the design of the hotel can magnify and reflect the sun's rays at temperatures hot enough to singe hair and melt plastic cups. <laughs> <laughs> And it just has to do with the way the building is built and the reflective surface. Oh God, that's, that's crazy. Of the windows. That's so that's funny. Crazy. Yeah, and I think they had all like they had already thought about it when they were designing it, and they had even used like the windows they used stopped like 90% of the sun's rays. Like it only reflected 10% of the light that hit it and it was still powerful 10% enough. 10% should be fine, right? To, uh, to do that. Sure, wow. 10%. I can take 10% of the sun's <laughs> power. 10%. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a building in Boston called the fine. Prudential Center uh-huh. and uh, it, or the John Hancock and when they first, it's all glass and when they first put it in, what uh, the pane started, what they do is they darken and then they would pop out. Mm-hmm. And so these huge, huge, big sheets of glass were just like falling out and, you know, luckily nobody got hurt but that, it was... That happened that here? just happened happened here in Austin also. Serious. They built a new W hotel and all the balconies had glass uh, railing or not railing but you know glass to keep people in the balcony and I guess with they haven't figured out what but it's yeah. speculated that with the intense heat we've had this yes. summer that they just have been it's falling off on, onto the pool. Oh, lovely. Oh, jeez. You know, the one thing is the glass falling out. The other thing is if you're in a hotel room and your your window is gone all of a sudden. Right? Like your whole wall <laughs> is just right. What if, what if you're like, your nose is up against and you're like, wow, isn't that blah? You know? <laughs> you wake up and like go in the bathroom and walk out and the window's gone. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, that would be yeah, scary. They, uh, they had to close the streets around the hotel because it right. was falling on the pool and it was also falling in the streets. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. That's what they had to do in they had to, I think they took all that glass out and they replaced it temporarily with wood until they figure out what they're doing. Jeez. Yeah. That's frightening. Yeah, it's it really, is. really, really frightening. Yeah. There's like one guy it's waiting the final for the glass destination to fall uh, out scene. and then like jump through the window and like steal your shit. <laughs> like he's like the glass window <laughs> bandit. He's not waiting for the glass. He'll break your shit. He's, he's like hanging out. It's just like easy access. We, There's like was, one dude climbing the building. We were staying in San Diego for a, um, an event or it was actually a paddling thing. And we got back to our room one night and we couldn't – we opened the door. But the that inside swing thing that you shut when you're on the inside mm-hmm. was on our door. And we're like, wow, how did that happen? Maybe somebody slammed – we slammed the door and it kind of swung around. So we're kind of jerking around with it. We finally get a guy comes up and he – Pops it open, and we walk in the room, and literally, I look at the sliding glass door. Somebody had robbed us. They had shattered the sliding glass door. It was completely broken, and they had come in, and they locked it, and then, you know, ripped us off. It was crazy. That's like, a good delay tactic. It, yeah. yeah. It was, it's, also, I, it's also a warning. And know? we were on the second floor. It was, and I guess that night there was three other, but, you know, it was kind of like, hey, wow, this is really weird. So if you never, if you can't get into your hotel room, that's, you got to worry you've about be, You've it. been robbed. Yeah, yeah, worry about it. That or Jack's like doing stuff by himself inside the room. Must. Jack opened the door. He's like, just a minute. <laughs> I'm washing my hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to go. I have to. Ju- I jumped into the podcast. Now I have to jump out because I have to go prepare for our special guest today. Yes, we're having a visitor. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I wanted to say that we're going to be at PAX next week. Gus, I'm sure you're going to talk about it. Yes. And we're going to be at Halo Fest. Uh, we'll, we'll also be at Fan, Fan Expo, Expo next week. And Fan Expo as well. <laughs> but that's, that's somebody else. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So if you're in Canada or in Seattle next week, come and see us. Or Please. even in Vancouver, you can come down from Canada. That's a good point. Yeah. Let's not not, all, can, not, really not all the Canada's close to Toronto. We can. There's some that's close to Seattle. That's right. You make an excellent point. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye, Bye Bernie. So we will be at PAX next week, like Bernie said. We have a panel uh, Friday at 1 p.m. in the main theater, which is, uh, I believe if I remember right, the main theater at PAX is across the street. It's not actually at the event anymore. Is it? Is it like that again this year? Yes. Okay. And um, it's down so, yeah. the street, yes. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll be at Halo Fest as well, which I believe goes on at pretty much the same time the exhibit halls open. Wow. So I don't know how we're going to swing that. Where is Halo Fest? Is it actually in the convention hall, or do you know where it is physically? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Good answer. 
Well, we'll yeah, we'll be at Halo Fest. I know uh, Michael and I are going to be there, probably helping out with Halo Fest a little bit. Yes. you'll be helping. I'll just be like hiding. Sure. And uh, <laughs> then, like we said, Kathleen will be at Ninja's Fan Expo. Fan Expo. Well, our booth at PAX is booth six zero one nine, and at Fan Expo, I believe I don't remember our booth. I think it's like 14-something. And we're doing a screening as well at Fan Expo on Monday. It's not actually part of Fan Expo. It's at a theater. I don't remember the, the name. <laughs> what, what are we screening? Check the front page. We're screening some uh, Season 9 stuff. Oh, cool. Some stuff that I believe we're going to be screening some stuff that hasn't season aired nine yet what? either. Yes. Season 9 of Red Bird. Oh, my Little Ponies, you <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking, you season, season 9 of Rage Quit. I mean, <laughs> Season 9 of Alf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Cousin Willie's got a, tra- a crack habit. Um... <laughs> Or Uncle Willie. What was his name? Was it Cousin Willie or Uncle Willie? Uh, I think it was Uncle. I think it was Uncle, too. I don't know. I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm totally stalling for time while I try to look up the name of the theater. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Keep vamping. Okay, we're also going to be having a panel at PAX, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll be showing... I think we'll have a new Fails of the Week for sure. Um, we might... I don't know if we can get a rage quit out in time. You think you can do an extra rage quit probably, probably next week? All right, it's so probably not. Michael's lazy. Maybe. I'm extremely lazy. You are. <laughs> With his sunglasses. I gotta get you a Toronto tutorial. Underground Cinema. You gotta give me a tutorial Ooh. for what? A tutorial Not for, okay. for Final Cut Pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the 29th. You yeah, gotta my, give me a fucking computer that can record for more than five minutes. Up. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to promote something, <laughs> you <laughs> asshole. I'm trying to build time. Find it faster. Oh, oh you've been muted. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, <laughs> Monday the 29th at uh, Toronto Underground Cinema. Um, I believe it's in the evening. I'm not sure exactly what time. I'll keep looking. Oh, okay. I'll see if I can put that up. But I'll put it in the... I'll link it in the link dump and... Uh, We'll make a front page post about it as well. Your microphone's back on now. Slide that button. Back <laughs> <laughs> you forget, man. I'm sitting at the fucking board. So anyway, there'll you, be some cool stuff to watch on that. Yeah, I got your holding. You should go to the panel at PAX. It's going to be awesome. I'm sure we're going to show off cool stuff. I don't know what we're showing off, or I'm assuming we're showing off. It might cool be stuff. similar stuff to what we're showing. I don't know what the hell's going on with Red versus Blue this season. It's kind of it's kind of cool some actually. Badass like, stuff going. Yeah, on. it's kind of cool. I have no idea what this company's doing. <laughs> oh no no like no because like on Mondays like it's I get to watch the episode with with everyone else. It's like huh, except when neat. I come in the room and I say, oh Jack, you got to see what they're doing. No, I've seen some animatics yeah. and stuff yeah. like that, but I mean for the most part, I have no clue where this season is going. I've heard like snippets. And bits, and I've read some stuff, but for the most part, the it's, most all, it's all fresh. That text is back. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, is that is that announced yet? <laughs> it was. Yeah, she's. A, yeah. I guess it wasn't. She in was eight. in the teaser. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, the only reason I want to check with Bernie on that one, <laughs> make sure he gold. Yeah, I, I've already recorded most of my audio for the season, so I've already seen. I guess most most everything. Yeah. I guess it's weird. You you don't. Yeah. You're in the show too. You're not in the show, so you don't read. Get to <laughs> the screen. I, I, was I was the, the first person to die off this season. I was the first character Serious? killed. Yeah, I'm, I was Murphy. Very nice. What was your line? Uh, well, I had a few lines, but there it was, he is. It was me and Scott, <laughs> Scott Weinberg. Was uh, I forget? I forget Weinberg's character. I was like, "Hey, Murph, what are you doing out there?" And then I was dead. So. <laughs> Why'd they make you Murph? Because you're Irish. No. And you have red hair. <laughs> no. Because oh, <okay. laughs> that was the character's name. Oh, okay. Are you left-handed? So, yes. I was thinking about it last night. This is totally unrelated. I have no idea why. Wow. There's I was a- about it last night. Are you left-handed? No. I was thinking about how many left-handed people we have in Actually, this company. Me, like me, me, Jeff, Joel. Um, I eat left-handed. Does that matter? There's a couple more. Yeah. Some of the pit guys are lefties, I thought. Yeah. Like I Marshall, bet. maybe? I think it's, it's like a small number. Of, like a small percentage of people normally are left-handed, but we have a high percentage of left-handed employees. Yeah. Well, so I'm must- left-handed people like weird or some shit. There's like yeah, something. yeah, they're they're <laughs> not like right. Weird yeah. or some shit. They're like yeah. my little like, po- it's like they're like my little like, pony. Like, right, it's like a scientific fact. If you're left-handed, you're like weird. why? Why is it? Why? Why are some people left-handed? Is there any reason for that? Do you understand? And why are the people who are left-handed like so fewer than the people who are right-handed? I don't know. Hmm. That's a great Someone question. Love you? I don't know. It has to do with the brain. <laughs> Yeah, but why? That, that doesn't like, make any sense. It sounds like a, like a thesis of some nature. Oh, they've done, t- they've done a lot of studies on that. Who is know? they? Uh, they. They. You know who Jack. they are. They do lots of things. The general there. Air quote, they. Have they tried Googling it? Maybe just Google Like, oh, there it is. You <laughs> can't find it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> that doesn't exist on the internet. <laughs> You'd have to have an iPad or something <laughs> iPad to too. find that. And be right-handed. <laughs> What else hasn't been announced at Gamescom? I'm trying to think here. I know the, the big things I noticed. Borderlands were 2 got announced. Oh, the PS3 got a price drop. I think that's what I was thinking. Did it? Really? Yeah. Is it free How much? Yet? The PS3 is uh, $250 or $249 now. Okay. What, what, what Was it $300? Yeah. Oh, okay. The, for the 160 gig model and 320 gig model was $350 and is now $300. Wasn't this supposed to be the year of the PS3? Like they always say that. I'll go, this is going to be the year of the yeah. PS3. Yeah. This will be the year of the Nintendo and then Microsoft just stomps everyone. Um, well, Uncharted 3 is coming out later this year. I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else is coming out for the PS3 that I'm really excited about this year. 
We got Gears 3, Halo CE Anniversary. Those are ex- exclusives. Oh, oh for- I finally beat Catherine. Oh, did you? Wow. Well, as long as we're talking about video games. Yeah. Wow. Fuck that game. That game's so hard. Dude, I got to <laughs> yeah, I think so I got to the fourth I, I, night. I played that game on easy. I, I, I'm, thinking, it. I'm thinking about going back and replaying it on normal. Yeah. Just to see if I can do it. So so Gus is like, finally beat that fucking piece of shit so hard. Oh my god, so annoying. You should play Catherine. Thanks, Gus. And then he fucking <laughs> pawned it off on me, so now I'm playing it. Yeah. How far are you? I am on the third night now. Yeah, that that's where things really like the fourth night is where when I the, had to change it to easy. When, when the spikes show up on, on the puzzle, when the spike blocks show up, that's when I want to tear my well, hair out. How do you how do you play? Like I know the game tells you to use the D pad. Do you use the D pad? I don't know. I kind of switch back and forth. Don't use the D pad. I discovered, especially with the spike blocks, oh, yeah. I feel like my movements are better with the stick. Like, like I can get across them, trigger them, and not get impaled. I feel like it's faster with the analog stick, but if yeah. I hit the wrong direction, I'm like, <gasps> I do that all the like, time. Yeah, like, <laughs> like it's easier to but fuck you can, yourself. You can undo. Up. Yeah. Oh, I spam the shit out of that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, like, I'll hit back until it's like, no more backs. I'm like, I'm going to try this stuff out. Nope. Or like, <laughs> oh, I just fucked myself. Whoop. <laughs> Have you played any, like, and then the weird thing about Catherine is... Like, Everything? Well, what the weirdest thing to me is that they've taken the game and then diluted it down to an even simpler form. Like, in the bar, you can play a game called Rapunzel, like an arcade yeah. game. Have you played it at all? No. And Rapunzel is essentially the Catherine puzzle game, but if it were like an old arcade game from the 80s. So it's like you move the blocks around, but you only have a limited number of moves you can make. Mm-hmm. And it's that's even harder. That's, that's fucking hard. There's shit. an achievement tied to that arcade game, yeah, too. There's like 64 levels in Rapunzel, and I think there's an achievement to beat all 64. Fuck, wow. Christ. And I think I got stuck on level 5. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bad sign. Like, like Rapunzel, Rapunzel like dilutes the game down to its hardest and most frustrating form. Fuck but, and there's, none of the blocks are different. I don't, well, at least not up to level 5. But I've seen Rapunzel. <laughs> it's just like one standard block, and that's it. I'm, it's like you play, and as you go, you know, you hit the sheep, and they give you techniques. And it's like, all right, we'll learn a simple technique. It's like staircase, you know, this and that. And then, like, we're getting a tornado. The tornado! Like, I know. Oh, man, like, like, let me explain the tornado. I seriously, I, I, he explained it. I read the whole thing, and I'm looking at it, like, ten times. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> There's like there's like ten things already. There's one that they explained. Fucking ridiculous. I forget what it was. What it was called. It was like the spider climb. I think it comes like level like night four or five, and it's like some dude's just like on a wall of blocks, and they're like, just do this simple technique, <laughs> and he like climbs the entire thing. Like he doesn't pull a block out. He just shoots up like six blocks. And it's like, how the fuck did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> like if I could just that, that's the beat the game move. <laughs> the spider. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. That game is fucking. Yeah. That game is weird. It's so man. fucking annoying when you get like all the way up and you're like one block away and you're like, like oh, yeah. you can't get it's like, one more. Wait, I like because like five steps back, I lowered everything by one yep. level. Now I'm one too short to get yeah. to the end. I push shit all the time too when I mean the pull it. I'm like, no, and like everything crashes back, 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 back. Yeah. I wish you could. Uh, I mean, maybe minor spoiler here, but I wish you could mm. more drastically affect the outcome of that game. Like the whole time I was playing, I was trying to get the dude to leave his girlfriend. <laughs> for the blonde Catherine, but he wow. he doesn't do that. Like no matter how bad I was, he still wanted to get back together with his girlfriend. Oh, what a push! And then they Aww. called me a bad lover because they're like, I, I, got, <laughs> I, got, I got the bad lover achievement. Oh my! They I don't really that. have that. Do they? Yeah. Oh my god! I saw that tweet. It was like it was, it was like, like fi- finally beat Catherine. Uh, the game says I'm a bad lover. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah. Great. Like I spent all this time. This game so fucking hard, and it says I'm a bad lover. God, who needs that? So did you enjoy the game? It was it was interesting. Um. I'm glad to see a new type of game, like something that's just not the same old thing rehashed. Yeah. Uh, there were periods, though, where I felt the cutscenes went on too long. Like, when you start the game, yeah. I think you sit through 25 yeah, minutes of cutscenes. Yeah, it's so fucking long. Before though. you start to I play. I started the game, I started the game, and, like, Jack and I are watching it, and it's just, like, going on and on and on. And Catherine's in the, uh, Catherine. Kathleen's in the office, and she's like, she's like, what is this? We're like, this is Catherine. And it's like, right as she's looking at it, it's like some scene where, like, there's, like, giant breasts and <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> zooming in. And, and she's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Really, that's yeah. a game, huh? I, think I swear I, it's a game. This is our yeah. job. Yeah, right. I think on night eight, I thought I was close to the end of the game. I was like, oh, yeah, I just have one more level to beat. And then I, I beat that level. And then, shit, you not. I think I sat through like 40 minutes of cutscenes. God damn. I was like, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's right. You go through the whole intro with the chick in the bar first. Yeah. Like yeah. the fucking TV. It's like, yeah. come on. I see your hair. It's fucking wobbling. Come yeah. on. Start the fucking game. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we need to cut this short because, like Bernie said, we're having a visitor today. Okay. Indeed. Um, so we're going we're gonna to end on that note. So, there, so be a, come see us at PAX. Yes, there will be, yeah. be another podcast for PAX, right? Yeah, next Wednesday. Yes. yes. Come see us at PAX at Seattle and next week and at Fan, Fan Expo, Expo in uh, Toronto. To and Halo Fest. Come by and say hi. And Halo Fest, which is well, also part of PAX. Halo Fest. And um, 
Uh, yeah, that's it. Come see us in person, awesome. but listen to us next week. All right. Booyah. All right. Thanks Bye-bye. for listening. Bye, everyone.